Welcome to the new cutting edge in strategy backtesting. Introducing the Diamond Backtesting and Walk Forward Manager, developed from professional software solutions. In our session today, we will show you how to prepare your strategy with the Backtesting Manager. We will open our sample as usual. And we will also open uh, Trade Station. We don't have any workspace open. We will use the sample strategy supplied with the uh, installation, which is uh, stored under PSS and then RSI sample. So you just click on File Open, Easy Language Document, click on RSI sample, and then you should see this screen. We maximize it to see better the all the code and uh, then we will just remove this whole section which was uh, already containing the backtesting details just remove it and that leaves only the actual logic very simple we just have a few inputs the ISI length and so forth uh, generally all the inputs should be uh, at the top of the strategy code easy language code not uh, distributed further down in the code. The backtest will expect everything on the top. Um, then also uh, in the chart there should be only one strategy, not several strategy elements uh, joined together. So now we have um, our sample strategy. This of course would be uh, one of your strategies in Easy Language Code. Then in the backtesting we click on the blue exclamation mark. An alternative also you can say functions and then prepare strategy for backtesting. And then uh, it has found a window with a strategy code and we click on prepare which extracts the list of all the relevant inputs. You can see here on the X in the optimized column which inputs are relevant. The price is not a backtestable type and uh, uh, variable here, backtesting of forward export is not uh, used by the optimization uh, switch internally to the backtesting mode. Um, if for some reason the capturing of the strategy code from directly from the trade station window shouldn't work, you can do also simply selecting all the code and then right clicking and saying copy. That brings the code into the clipboard and then you just say load from clipboard and then it will take the code instead of from the window in within trade station directly from the clipboard and then I click on no here it worked here but uh, you can then also s define the name of the strategy in here and then we click on modify if you want to disable uh, a few parameters you just double click on them then the X disappears see here and you can switch it on again by double clicking in case you and you don't actually use those for optimizations you can uh, just double click on them and then they, they will be enabled and disabled simply click on select all. Then so we click on modify strategy which now directly will in trade station go to the window and automatically analyze the code, enter the uh, append the function for the backtesting and then uh, give you a little notification message that it has successfully modified. The f strategy itself is not changed. All that what happened is uh, this section here has been appended at the end which uh, collects all the data during the backtesting run. And then we can just exit here and now your strategy is ready. This is only a one step, uh, one time um, requirement um, to prepare the strategy for data collection. Uh, there are more details if you want to see uh, more details on the web page. If you just click on the 
prepare your strategy for backtesting, then uh, there are more details uh, reca recapturing what we just did on the screen and also how to add uh, more variables in case you want to add some context variables for example. This concludes the section where we show you how to prepare your strategy for the backtest manager. Thank you.